right, so what about layers five and six? Well, in the OSI model, the job of layer five, it's called the session layer, is to provide long-lived sessions. So for example, if a transport connection fails, then it will establish a new transport connection and the session can continue over that new connection. It's like um, automatic redial on a, on a telephone. And layer five potentially could multiplex data across multiple transport connections. So if you need more bandwidth than a single uh, transport layer connection will, will provide, then you can multiplex data across multiple transport connections. And at layer six, the presentation layer is all about data reformatting. So the concept there is that it would translate data from one format to another to make it suitable for the application to use. So it might translate from one character set to another character set. Now these layers exist in the OSI model, but they do not exist in the TCP IP suite. So these features, if required, the application itself would be responsible for doing them. So if the application needs to translate from one character set to another, the application has to do it. And if the, if the application wants to handle disconnections and reconnections, the application itself has to take care of it. The TCP IP stack uh, basically has empty layers at those points. But we keep them in the model because some networks do provide these functions, different technologies provide these functions, and it's just a reference model that was useful for us. At the very top, we have layer seven. Layer seven is the application layer, and layer seven is the actual job you wanted to do across the network. So, for example, you wanted to view a web page. And at layer seven, there will be a different application protocol specific to each type of job you want to do. So, for example, for web browsing, the protocol is called HTTP, Hypertext Transport Protocol, and it runs over TCP at layer, at layer four, but HTTP has its own way of formatting an HTTP request and headers and an HTTP response and its headers. Uh, another example would be email. So SMTP, the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is used by one email server to deliver an email message to another email server. And again, that has its own series of messages that it uses to set up the connection, to give the envelope for a message, give the body of a message and request its um, delivery and return error codes and so on. All of those are application layer specific activities and they're part of the application protocol. And I'm sure you can think of many others. So in email, there's POP3 and IMAP for retrieving email from a server, for example, and so on. 